Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're gonna see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Aries. This is gonna be your middle to the ending of October spread. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you wanna skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least two, three days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, I am so excited to announce I just posted new products and ritual sets to my spiritual shop on Etsy. I'll have a link for the store down below. Also, make sure to go check out the full moon release of my new single, Light My Fire, out now only on SoundCloud. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable. This could be you, your partner, whoever. This definitely could be a vice versa reading, okay? Okay, so... <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm seeing is, I see an earth sign could be approaching you guys here, okay? But I see it's like you have your guard up to this person. I see your defenses are up. I see you trying to protect your energy from this person. So you definitely could have dealt with this person previously, okay? And um, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but I'm definitely seeing somebody is approaching you here. And I just see it's like you kind of have your guard up, like you're protecting your energy here, right? Because I'm seeing it's like you're wanting to honor your commitment to yourself. And I see you're wanting to go down a new chapter for yourself. Okay, because I see it's like you gave, yeah, you're protecting your energy from this person because you gave too much of your energy to this person in the past, I'm seeing. I just see you're just trying to care for yourself right now. You're just trying to heal. Okay, and I just see, yeah, you're just trying to care for yourself. You're just trying to heal. You're just trying to move forward. Okay, because it was hard to walk away from this, I'm seeing, but it's like you learned your lesson here. Okay, and I just see it's like you're just wanting to go forward because you learned your lesson here. And um, I just see right now, it's like, yeah, you learned your lesson here. I just see you're spending a lot of time in your own energy. I see you guys healing. I see successful self-employment as well for some of you or just successful in your careers right now. Um, and I just see it's like you're just trying to be in your own energy right now and just figure out what steps to take next for yourself, basically. And I see this is causing some inner conflict for this other person here. Okay, because I just see it's like you distance yourself from this person here so you can heal. So you can heal so you can give birth uh, so you can heal and give birth to your dreams. I just see you're just trying to nurture yourself, heal yourself basically, and like I said, give birth to your dreams. So you guys definitely could be doing something uh with self-employment, with business, or with um just career in general, I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing that for you guys, and I'm seeing this person is watching you here. I see this person is watching you here and I'm seeing it's like you balanced yourself out and I see you got on this cherry and I see you going forward into the next part of your life, into your next chapter because I'm seeing it's like you wanted to release yourself of this. I see you really carefully considered what you wanted before acting and I see it's like in the past, I see you tried to open your heart to this person and this person was closed off. So now I just see you're releasing yourself of um, the burdens that was keeping you tied down, uh, that was keeping you stuck. I just see you're releasing yourself from this and um, I just see you're closing yourself off to this person because you want more for yourself. You want something more meaningful, spiritual, emotional, something with depth. And then I just see it's like you're just choosing um, to go into the next part of your life. You're realizing it's time for you to move on. And I see you making uh, major life changes to your life here. For a lot of you, I see you're on a very spiritual journey and I just see it's like you're just wanting like a commitment to your spiritual journey here. And I just see it's like you're going forward is what I'm seeing. And it's like because you're closing yourself off to this person, I'm seeing the karmic wheel is turning in your favor here. And I'm seeing fortunes on your side, a time of positive change. I'm seeing good karma is coming your way. So this definitely was a karmic situation that you're wrapping up right now. Okay, and I just see it's like, yeah, you made the objective decision to clear away um, all that no longer serves you. Because somebody could have been in a relationship with somebody else here or just was dealing with other people I'm seeing for some of you. And um, this person, yeah, I'm just seeing... Like I said, you made the objective decision to clear away all that no longer serves you. And now I'm seeing good news is coming in for you. Okay, I'm also seeing that you wanted to clear away um, all that no longer serves you because this person... Yeah, I just see this person was just trying to have fun here. This person was dealing with multiple people here. And um, I'm just seeing it's like this person, the situation really, jit, uh, really stressed you out. Okay, and I see it's like for a lot of you too, I'm seeing you guys are working with the planets. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, you might have realized that this was a karmic situation. And because Saturn and Pluto are direct and wanting us to wrap up these karmic situations so we could get our good karma, I'm definitely seeing for a lot of you, like I said, you could be working with planets, could be uh, vigilant about this, could be mindful of how... 
the universe works here. You definitely could be working with the universal flow here, closing out a karmic situation so you can have your good karma. Like I said, because this situation really burdened you and I am seeing you are going to be getting the blessings from uh, the blessings from dealing with this burden here. Because I'm seeing it's like, yeah, this situation really stressed you out. Um, and I'm seeing this person was also dealing with multiple people. This person had you as an option and I'm just seeing it's like you're wanting to follow your own path, have a commitment to self like I was saying earlier. And I just see it's like you're really just following your own path, doing your own thing here. And I'm seeing like, it's like also you're kind of like blocking out the world here and just doing your own thing, following your own path. So it's kind of interesting because I am seeing a blindfold here as well. It's like you're just trying to make long-term plans for yourself. I just see it's like you're trying not to get distracted by the outside world, by this person, because I'm seeing it's like, like I said, you want to make long-term plans for yourself. I just see a lot of abundances around you. And I see it's like you're just taking action to go into a new chapter in your life. I see it's time to go after your dreams. I see you doing something that expands your mind and the horizons for yourself. I see some of you could be getting on a flight here. I just see you're letting your creativity take flight and going fearlessly into your next chapter. And I just see you're releasing this, letting go of the past and ending that makes room for new opportunities. It's time to move on. I just see you're releasing this. And also, um, this is the 13th today is actually the full moon too so for a lot of you guys time is fluid for so for some of you you could be watching this and this is happening and you're releasing this today for others this could be uh further down the line uh like the end of october like could be the 31st but i'm just seeing for a lot of you guys you're just wanting to release this you're just wanting to move on into your next chapter like i said because it's like you are working with the planets and you're just wanting to wrap up this karmic situation so you can get your good karma Okay, and also it's like on par with Libra season two. It's like for a lot of you, like I said, it's like you gave too much of your energy to this person and now you're protecting your energy. You put up your boundaries basically, okay? So I'm seeing like Libra season uh, wanted us to really pay attention to the imbalances are in our life. Like where are we giving too much of ourselves, too much of our energy to a situation or person? Where can we properly put up the healthy, where can we properly put up healthy boundaries for ourselves? And um, I definitely see you guys do that. You learned your lesson here and I'm seeing you're getting the blessings for it, okay? So it looks really good for you guys. It looks really good for you guys. Some signs that you could be dealing with. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Sagittarius, a Cancer, um, a Virgo, a Virgo or another Taurus. Um, I see Virgo again. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, <clears throat> Gemini. Yeah, so, um, or Pisces. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I hope that was good for you guys. Make sure you check out my Etsy store. I just posted new products and ritual sets to the Etsy store. And definitely check out my new song, Light My Fire. It's only on SoundCloud. That was my full moon release. Okay, so definitely check that out. And I will catch you guys next week. Okay, bye.